Well, good morning, everyone. Colleagues, friends, so good to see you uh, around this table uh, at a critical time. Uh, but we start out with gratitude for this, uh, this partnership to the Secretary General, to our Foreign Minister colleagues. Um, thank you. Um, we meet at a time of high tension, risk of escalation in the region is acute, and I know that we are all very much focused on that. Um, the best answer is diplomacy, and our coordinated efforts are vital to preventing further escalation and to paving the path to greater peace and stability. With regard to Lebanon, we've been working tirelessly with partners to avoid a full-blown war and to move to a diplomatic process that would allow Israelis and Lebanese alike to go back to their homes. On Gaza, we are grateful to GCC partners, especially to our friends from Qatar uh, and, uh, and Egypt, for tireless efforts to get to a ceasefire, uh, one that would bring the hostages home, bring immediate relief to uh, the people of Gaza, and create an opportunity for more enduring peace and stability. Each of us has to continue to press all of the parties to make the decisions necessary to get this deal over the finish line. It remains, again, the best way to get hostages home, bring relief to people, uh, and it also can help us reduce tensions on other fronts. Uh, even as we're working to advance the ceasefire deal and to prevent its derailment, even as we're working uh, for uh, de-escalation uh, and preventing a, a broader conflict, we can't wait on any of that in order to continue to effectively address the humanitarian crisis that people are facing. Um, my thanks to countries here today for all the work that's contributed to this effort thus far, providing thousands of tons uh, in aid, building field hospitals, desalination plants, getting flour to bakeries. We not only have to sustain these efforts, we have to grow them. And I think we can take some inspiration from the effective polio campaign that demonstrated that uh, we can have a strong, powerful impact, uh, and we can get results, but it requires everyone to be working together, uh, and it requires that this effort be a focus, a priority for everyone involved. Um, we also have to coordinate and work together to deter destabilizing activities by Iran. And I, use, I urge all of us to use the leverage that we have to press Iran to stop fueling escalation via the Houthis, via Hezbollah, in Iraq, on the West Bank. Uh, we also look uh, to uh, the West Bank to ensure that violence against innocent Palestinians stops. That too is critical. This is an opportunity today for all of us together to further coordinate our efforts. Uh, to coordinate efforts with partners who have a shared belief in the necessity, indeed in the urgency, of advancing a path to a better life for all people in the region uh, that you share. So, to each and every one of you, my thanks. I think uh, now uh, I would... Uh, yes, we're going to turn to Sheikh Mohammed. Well, first of all, uh, I would like uh, to thank you, Mr. Secretary, for hosting us here today uh, on behalf of my colleagues from the GCC and myself. Uh, we really uh, uh, commend the relationship and uh, the strategic partnership that GCC has with the United States, and we believe that uh, throughout uh, decades that we see uh, a very positive outcome for security and stability of the region and for prosperity for both peoples. Uh, I think that our meeting cannot be more timely with uh, all what's ongoing in the Middle East, uh, whether it's in Gaza, the West Bank, uh, the front in Lebanon, uh, that was just uh, escalated to uh, a situation which is uh, going to have a spillover on the entire region. I believe it's, uh, it's getting more and more dangerous and worrying, and we believe that all of us, we have a responsibility to stop this. 
and just to stand up and to step up and to say enough is enough and we need to find a solution. Of course, uh, we appreciate uh, the commitment of the United States uh, role uh, in the Middle East and stabilizing the situation in the Middle East. We appreciate the partnership that we have uh, together with you and Egypt uh, in order uh, uh, to achieve uh, outcomes and uh, bring the hostages back and put an end for, for this war. This is a very important work. Qatar remain, remain committed uh, uh, to that. And I think that uh, uh, we should do everything in our hands in order to achieve this uh, goal. I'm very much looking forward for our discussion uh, today, and I hope that uh, this is, will be uh, productive and fruitful and will bring us an outcome that stabilizes the region. Thank you. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of God, the most... and Excellencies, I would like to express my great pleasure to participate in this very important gathering, which is organized under the framework of the GCC-US Strategic Partnership. I also want to welcome Secretary Blinken, his honorable team, and all involved for their efforts and commitment to make this meeting happen, as well as moving forward with this very important strategic partnership. Our meeting today is very timely in response to the critical threats facing our region and the rest of the world, as well as promising opportunities for greater bilateral cooperation. I look forward to discussing these pressing challenges together and how to best work to utilize the opportunities at hand. Your Highnesses and Excellencies, the holding of this meeting comes out of, as an affirmation of the strategic importance of the historical relation between the two sides and their joint commitment to build upon achievements of previous ministerial meetings and summits held, the most recent being the Jeddah Summit in July 16, 2022, to enhance consultation, coordination, and cooperation in all fields to support common interest in a way that contributes to achieving regional and international security and stability. We believe in the need to join hands to reduce escalation and prevent the region from being dragged into new levels of violence, tension, and instability, such as the threat of nuclear proliferation, ballistic missiles, threat to maritime security, and freedom of navigation, in addition to recent developments and humanitarian catastrophe in Gaza, the military escalation between Iran and Israel, and the escalating tension in the Red Sea. The ongoing Palestine-Israel conflict, which remains unresolved, continues to threaten peace and security of this region and prevents it from reaching its full potential. The continued mutual escalation across the region risks triggering the broader and uncontrollable conflict, potentially expanding the circle of violence and undermining security and stability. This requires all parties to exercise the utmost restraint and resolve their differences through dialogue and diplomatic channels, sparing the region and its people the dangers of war. Moreover, the Gulf Cooperation Council reaffirms its steadfast position in supporting Lebanon's sovereignty, territorial integrity, security and stability. The Council also expresses deep concern regarding the recent Israeli violations in Lebanon territory, which pose a serious threat of escalating the region. The GCC calls on the international community to take urgent measures to halt this provocative action and to work towards lasting stability in the region, thereby helping to prevent the risks of escalating into broader conflict. Your Highnesses and Excellencies, since the GCC-US strategic partnership was announced in May 2015, we have all sought to strengthen our cooperation in all areas through maintaining regular engagement at all levels. There have been four summits at the heads of state level, numerous ministerial meetings and specialized working groups to translate this partnership into effective practical steps. Our beneficial partnership contributes to peace and stable prosperity of both the United States and the GCC countries. 
as well as extending beyond our region and benefit the global community. The GCC-US partnership is built on solid historical ties, shared interest, and the belief that international law and UN-centered world system is the best foundation for peace and security. The GCC strategic partnership with the United States is at the forefront of our priorities, and this meeting underscores that fact. The joint summits and ministerial meetings have provided a clear guidance on the, the evolution of our partnership. We have established more than 10 working groups and task forces across GCC, covering critical areas such as integrated air and missile defense, maritime security, cyber security, logistics, military preparedness, military training, exercises, special operations, counterterrorism, trade, investment, and other areas of cooperation. These GCC US groups are in addition to the important bodies established bilaterally between US and other member states. In May 2022, the Integrated Air and Missile Defense and Maritime Security Working Group met at the GCC headquarters in Riyadh to further strengthen our military cooperation. Similarly, the Fifth Trade and Investment Dialogue and Business Roundtable held in Washington, D.C. on June 26. and objectives. I would like to thank the teams from both sides for their planning and hard work for further meeting and workshop, including the discussion on the prevention of counterfeits, broad border enforcement, and free trade zone regulation and scheduled, scheduled for January and February 2025. Furthermore, the planned meeting and study tour focused on cooperation and capacity building for the deployment of advanced nuclear energy technologies in April 2025. These initiatives reflect our shared common commitment to clear, to cleaner, more secure energy solution and are critical for ongoing collaboration in key areas. In all of these meetings, GCC and U.S. representatives have shown their commitment to their important political, security, and economic partnership, working together to achieve common objectives. I would like to point out that the upcoming year, 2025, will mark the 10th anniversary of the first summit that brought together the leaders of the Gulf Cooperation Council and the President of the United States. We look forward to the possibility of convening a fifth summit during the next phase. With the, with the hope that this fruitful cooperation, which is built on a solid foundation of distinctive strategic relations, relations between both sides, will continue to thrive. In conclusion, I would like our friends and partners from the United States to understand one crucial fact. The GCC countries are unwavering in their commitment to enhance and strengthen their relationship with the United States. A testament of this is that the United States is the only country with whom we have held two ministerial meetings, both in the year 2023 and 2024. Regardless of our growing partnerships across the globe, the United States remains one of the most reliable, steadfast, steadfast partners. I look forward to a productive meeting that will advance our partnership in facing the growing challenges. Thank you very much. Thank you, Press.